this program and other programs like it, um, I can... Uh, Head of the therapy okay. program, Tom Powell, knows he's working in relatively uncharted territory, and Hare's checklist is invaluable. Dr. Hare has provided us with uh, some significant advances in understanding in detail the syndrome that is now uh, known as psychopathy. Like this is home. He's validated a scheme that's quite quite uh, uh, good in terms of looking at a set of, of antisocial behaviors as well as, as uh, interpersonal traits which distinguish these folks. What can you tell us about your early years where you grew up? Okay. Uh, well, I'm, uh, I just turned 45, uh, the 23rd of January. Wayne's sessions with Tom Powell uh, a little more than conversation therapy. The For no one yet has any real idea what works in the treatment of psychopaths. But Powell is discovering the complexity of the personalities he's dealing with. Uh, I keep to myself. I do a great deal of studying. I do a great deal of reading. I do a great deal of writing. Psychopaths can be wondrous in many ways, and one of them is their ability to engage otherwise knowing and well-informed therapists uh, about their, their sincerity and their desire to change. And uh, I have found it very easy to be seduced by the, uh, the tone and the affect and the engagement of a psychopath who, with great earnestness, tells me that he's finally found the light and has, has seen the error of his ways. The therapists are wonderful. Uh, I learn a great deal from them. Uh, sometimes it can be hard. I suppose that's the way it's supposed to be when you're growing up. Uh, I'm ready to go now. I know that that decision will come from others who have already seen. They've seen my change. Carl is another serious psychopath in the Vermont program. A 36 on the checklist. Had a statutory rape on a minor, 15. Uh, I was arrested for an aggravated sexual assault on a, on a female child. She was four years old. I think it's very important when therapists undertake to work with psychopaths that they know the entire record and that they not be deceived into believing that they have therapeutic magic that can work with these individuals. It's not good for me to be around any female child, I'd rather be a young child or a teenager. Uh, in this gentleman, we see a striking shallowness of affect. He speaks a language of treatment that is quite articulate in many ways. He, he's able to talk about his uh, risk factors, his past, in what appears to be a deceptively open way. One of my main concerns is that when I re someday return to society, is that I'm going to have to be very careful where I'm at at all times and who I'm around. If one looks beyond the words and gauges the affect, to the emotion, the feeling that goes with them, at that point you start to see a disconnect with, with what he's saying and what he's experiencing. And I think that is characteristic of psychopaths.